All right, I'm setting out to make three templates here. Uh, one to fit inside this opening, one to fit inside this, um, one to fit inside the drawers, and then the last one to fit inside the top. So the reason I'm making them is I, I want to have a template to cut my leather. This is the uh, drawer number five. It, it fit in uh, two, three, and four just perfectly. And that also fits beautifully. And this is the what's left of the template I used to make the drawer fronts. Or no, this is the, what's left over to make the uh, top and bottom. And then I cut this out to make the template for the handles. But this portion right here I can use as a reference for the front feet. Uh, the back ones are going to be um, just square, so no big deal. But, all right. What I've decided is that I don't want the... Uh, foot to go any further than this the edge of the drawers and that from from the outside edge of the base to there is inch and three quarter so on my uh, blank here I'm gonna make the feet out of cherry I marked inch and three quarter and thought that's where I wanted to be but I have to add a quarter of an inch to the outside for for that reveal out there so this uh, line right here this intersection represents where the curve should stop and by that I mean this curve right here so I'm gonna lay that on there kind of square it up as best I can here and bring it up and the length of the uh, what I can control that later so I'm gonna bring this up here like so Oop, I went too far I want to get that corner not this one so like like that Take my pencil. So there's my arc. Now out, out here I've got to draw a quarter inch line and that will be my reveal on the outside. So this this is my this is my cut line. This all of this has got to be removed to whatever depth I want. On this one, my line layout is, you know, I I just went over that line just barely. But here in that same situation, I'm just short of it. So I don't know what the what happened with my line layout here, but I'll be taking a line and see if you know see what kind of fit I can get when I when I carve this out. Right, I'm not going to cut them off just yet. I want to see how well they fit first. And then if I need to do some fine tuning, it's a lot easier with it in this 
condition rather than uh, those little pieces. curve is going the wrong way. All that work. What the hell? Yep. <laughs> All right, we start over. I hope you can see that. The curve needs to go that way. I need to square these off. Start over. Son of a... Alright, there's the first one. And again, I tried to undercut going back this way so I get a nice tight fit here. Now there's really no way for me to try this one out without actually cutting it off uh, and putting it in in place. Alright, a little tiny gap right there. Let's go to the other side. That looks pretty good. I've got a little rock right there. Got to take a little out of the middle where I can still see my pencil line. I think that'll cure that one. All right, I did the right side here, and I, I really didn't remove any material along the line. All I did was uh, check my back cut and that's all I needed to do was just uh, get in there and remove a little material from the bottom. That's what was holding it back. So I've got a good fit on that one. Um, all right, success with that one too. What you're seeing in that dark area there is pencil line. That's a nice fit on both of them. All right, so I got the weight of the chest pushing down on the feet and then the uh, band clamp is pulling them tight into the corners. And that looks really good. So I didn't want any glue squeeze out up through the top here, so I used my I used glue sparingly. I've got maybe a little coming out underneath, but I kept it away from this edge on all four corners and basically uh, you know glued the, the the flat part to the bottom, not the not the corners. <laughs> 